What up, dog? Yeah. It's your man Malik Ali. Motivation music movement. Yeah. Let's take y'all on a journey. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I represent Dallas, Texas. Two one dope. Oh, Cliff. Like I'm finna bring something to the game that the game has been missing already. Cause it's cool to dance. No doubt. But somebody gotta say something. Okay. So I guess that person gotta be me. Alright, this is Rip Your Swag. I'm Poochie Hell. We're here with an interesting interview that we have planned for you to see. This is gonna be great. So we're checking out Malik Ali. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If, y'all, if y'all don't know about him, you're finna know about him today and might become your favorite fan. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned. We'll be right back with you. Yeah. I guess the grain, here I go. Cause doing me the only thing that I know. Paper lane, here I go. Yeah. Yeah, here I go. Yeah. Come on. I guess the grain. So, uh, Ali, first thing, you know what I'm saying, where is you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Huh? That's my hood. Yes, sir. Put it in your face. <laughs> so, if y'all don't know that, go look it up. But anyway, uh, so you're a native of Dallas. You went to school? I went to school at W.T. White. Okay. I feel I was supposed to go to South Oak Cliff, but I am and transferred. Hey, it and happens so like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to, you know, find your spot. You yeah. know what I'm So, um... What, uh, how long you been in business? Well, first of all, before we get into your business or whatever, tell us what you do. Um, I do multiple things, actually. Um, yeah, you have many hats. I have um, a record label that I own, uh, Motivation, Motivation Music Movement. Okay. Um, and I also have a record label, uh, um, I'm sorry, a uh, um, radio station Okay. that I own as well, called Mo Music Mo, which is... Motivation Super music music movement shortened. Okay. Mo music mo, you know what I'm saying? Put yes. the radio at the end of it. So and um basically the reason that I did both of those businesses is because I couldn't really find a record deal. You know what I mean? It, especially um, in Dallas. With the type of music that I do. Okay. Cause um I do something different, a little bit different than what everybody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So um you know, I became my own boss, basically. Gotcha. Put my own music out. Um, and, you know, with a, with a record, you're going to need radio play. Yes. So instead of going through the changes of getting my songs on other people's radio station, basically created a radio my station. Radio my own. So to mm-hmm. push not only my music, but people like myself who, do, who does music the same as me, you know, or the similar. And what I mean by I do something different, what I call my my music is motivational rap. Mm-hmm. You know, you got motivational speakers. Yes. So it's like a, a rap form of motivational speaking, okay. to where I'm challenging the listener to be a better version of themselves. Okay. By me challenging myself. Yeah. In the I mean, songs, but you know in I mean? a way, in the sense of what you do right now is kind of challenging and stuff, whatever, because you're kind of paving the way as far as so like if you can't get in here. Don't worry about it. Buy the building. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And, and then funny, you can go in you whenever you feel like it's it. It's funny that you say that because the name of the kind of paper lane. Okay. So it's exactly, it's exactly what you're doing. And this is exactly what you're doing. So, um, okay, so that, I mean, that goes into four of the, we already know, like, why you wanted to do it now because you did not already tell us, you know, because certain people wouldn't into that mode or different flavor that she was kicking. So now it's like, oh, well, we be into this right now. Let's go into this and stuff. So um, how long you been doing this? Um, this movement here or what is it? This movie like your whole, whole, your whole getting started to now? Um, been for a while. Yeah, because I mean, the reason why I'm asking you this. I'm a fan. Okay, the reason why I'm asking you this because a lot of people think that it just happened overnight. Oh, like they just don't jump in. Oh, do this you know and what? You know, sometimes it does. Uh-huh. But that that's not the norm. Yes. You know what I mean? So, but usually it takes a person a long time 
And if it doesn't take you a long time, then that's that's not a good thing. Yeah. Because the, the longer you came in, you're gonna burn out. Exactly. And, and you know you don't you don't learn the business. The longer you, you're in the business, the more time you have to to engulf it and learn. Uh-huh. Um, and usually if they're taking you fast, you're not learning anything. You're kind of being held by the horn, or led by the horn, and kind of left dumb. Yeah. Because the dumber the artist, the more paid the like, like yes, exactly, exactly. Because they're not gonna give you the game because then I have to split more of the money. Exactly. You know? exactly. Okay. So uh I guess we'll take a break right now and you know we'll come back with some more questions. Here I go, just doing me the only thing that I know. Pay the lane. Wish I could mission, sit back and listen. We're gonna buy opposition on a mission like 580 Kings. Call them new additions, switching lanes now. Never that. Pay the lane to a cul de sac. See a hold up, beast won't do that thing just like a running back. In fact, yeah, you can call me Zeke. Cause even if I'm invited to the table, I'm gonna eat. Peep, I never let them see me on all phones. Cause Alright, so we're back, you know what I'm saying? So now, I mean, we were doing a little talking and stuff, but then you said something, and I was like, you know, as far as your paved the, uh, your album and stuff, your paved the lane. Your pay, okay, paved the lane. So, as far as paving the lane, for somebody that's exactly coming up, you know what I'm saying, like we were saying, as far as being in the game, uh, what advice could you give them or tell them about, if you tell them about your struggle, then they'll know they're going to go through similar struggles. Okay. Um, well, the reason I named the, a- the album Pay the Lane is because um, I looked up and like nobody really was doing what I was doing. Mm-hmm. And you can be, you can, that can get to you sometimes because sometimes people don't get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I basically just, just like the honest truth is, I just went into a zone and say, hey God, like whatever you would have me put on this beat, I would pick the tracks out and I would just go into a zone. Mm-hmm. And I would just trust that wherever I went with it, then that's where we went. You know what I'm saying? And I, I didn't second guess what I was doing or anything like that. So when I'm done, I'm not really caring about who's liking it and who's not because my whole purpose of doing the music is once I'm gone, that music is gonna be here. Yeah. Like I said, I do music to I, that I would hope to motivate people because music played a huge part in my life. Yes. I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for music. Yeah. Like that's real talk. So um, I, I talk about a lot of things on the album that I that I went through. You know, suicidal, um, coming up without a dad. You know what I'm saying? But it's not it's not old boys me types of stories. It's just like, hey, this is where I am. This is where I'm trying to get to. This is, you know, this is my mindset. This is what I'm dealing with, and so I'm trying to get to this path. So, pay the lane is basically don't change up who you are. Yeah. Is God made everybody unique, so you can't. I can't be future. I can't be the baby. I can't be little baby. I can't be none of them. I can be Malik Ali. Yeah. And I can. I can mimic them. Yeah. But what if that catches on? Yeah. What if that, you know, I, I sell it, I go, I, I go platinum with a song that I was mimicking somebody else, and that's not me. Yeah. So now I gotta play this part. All the time. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be true to who you are and, and how God gives it, gives it to you. Just know that that's the way that you're supposed to give it to them. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the people that get it, it's the people that it was for. Yes. The person don't like what you're doing, don't get offended because it wasn't yes. for them. Yes. It's like billions of people on the planet. That's just one person that's telling you that they don't like it. Mm-hmm. You know, or they're not feeling it. But I've had people to say, hey, that song or that CD that you did um, got me through this this time in my life. Yeah. A person once told me, as far as like when you're doing something, um, don't be real hard up on the note, you know, because you're going to get a bunch of notes. Yeah, so he said, if you look at it like this, look at it as your waiter. When you're a waiter, how many times you get told no? But what do you do? Like when you go off in there, he'll be, oh, do you want to try the special? No, I'm good. Oh, okay, well, what would you like then? You know what I'm saying? You just keep it rolling, you know, to you satisfy what, you know, you accommodate what they want, you know, and if you can't accommodate what they want, 
oh, let me go get the manager and, you know what I'm saying, go get it. But it's just, you know, do you want some ice? Uh, do you want this and stuff? No, I don't want that. Whatever. So don't take it if somebody was like, oh, well, I want you to do this. They are like, no, I don't want that. Whatever. Well, okay. You know, and See, then they will take that person. Yes, because and that's what that's what kind of steadfast you as far as on your journey or trying to get your journey started because you still you still on this hurdle you stuck on it you know what I'm saying you just you run up to it and you scared to jump over it and you know say you should just take it in stride just be like okay I'm not gonna let this stop me. Well, whether you think that you can or you think that you can't, you're absolutely right. Yes. You did. Yeah. So you better go off into that wall or <laughs> you like you know yeah. what's gonna happen, like you're gonna go through it. Yes. Because if you go through it, you know, like you I don't know, yeah. then it's a good chance you're not gonna do it. Yeah. It's like over fifty percent chance that you're not gonna complete that task. Exactly. But if you go into it with the mindset, it's all about mental. Mm -hmm. For me, it's all about to learn. That's what I'm focusing on. Because my mental was so disturbed. Uh -huh. You feel me? So and the reason I do the type of music that I do, and, and my goal is to motivate and to move the masses with music. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that's the best way to do it, you know, because everybody listens to music. And then, like what you were saying, as far as, you wouldn't be here today if the music was not there for the day and stuff for them. Now, if you were reverse, if you was coming up in today's society and listen to the music that you listen to now, how far would you have been? Well... I'm gonna say this because I don't want to disrespect our form that today because I think there's a, um, a generational gap yes. in between the youth and of, of, of hip hop and the OGs. Yes, like rap is the only um, field of music that it's it's not cool to be old. Uh -huh. Like how dare you get old? Yeah. <laughs> how dare I get old enough to see my kids grow up and my grandkids grow up? How dare I not get killed at 25, 26 yes. years old? And you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you ain't cool because you you made it that far. Yes. I want to listen to you because you didn't live your life. Like the Rolling Stones is still touring. Yes. Um, they're like seventy years yes. old. You know what I mean? <laughs> they haven't been retired yet. So hip hop is like the only you know that culture you that they, they try to retire. So I'm I think that that's a disconnect there. Mm -hmm. So the last thing I'm going to do is disrespect their art form because there are people that are doing that are getting people through some hard times in life. With yes. this music that's going yes. on, you know yes. what I mean? So I, totally I can't, can't pull on it. But me being an OG and my my ears being, you know, I, I'm hard. I'm hard on the music because where we came from yes. and what we've heard and the people that we have to compare this music to, you know. So I, I don't know how far I would get if I was a kid coming up now. But because I'm like Travis Scott, uh -huh. you know, I've talked to some people that said Travis Scott was like Tupac to them. Okay. Like, I couldn't see it. I didn't understand yeah. the comparison, like, real time. But that's not to say anything bad about Travis. It's like, he's not rapping for me. Yes. And he's not rapping to me. But that's not to say it's not a million not people that he's out there rapping to. You know yes. what I'm saying? So, I think that's what everybody should focus on. Like, there's a million people that's like you. And then, another thing is how I look at it and stuff, whatever. As far as... It's always going to be that generation gap that you're talking about because when we was growing up, the music that we played, the two, uh, the, you know, all this other stuff, you know, all the music that we played, what did our parents say? Ah, oh, that ain't music. That ain't music because they grew up with another, you know, soulful wow. and like the music that they listened to, it's still being played today. It's still being sampled today. Came it's still, on. yeah. Came so, it. yeah. So, I mean, like that music is like, you know, saying generation, it'll be passed down because like that you listen to it with your parents and stuff and then you listen to it then other people that's around you will pick up on it but what you're speaking of is timeless music yes you feel me yes so that's the difference between generational music and timeless music mm -hmm. generational music is is the fad yes this is what's going on this because we had bad music in, in our day too you know yes. what i'm saying the yes. Tissy Rose, yes so we had that but at the same time that's not the music that's held up to to the end that stood the test of time. Yes. The time this music is, it don't matter what time it is, and that's what I'm trying to do. It doesn't matter. My music is gonna, gonna be relevant today, tomorrow, yes. yesterday, because it's timeless music. I'm talking about things that happen. I'm talking about real things that people got it, that trying, yeah, trying to get through. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what my, I wasn't trying to, I, I like to dance. Uh -huh. So when you get the album, go cop the album. 
But when you get the album, uh, you definitely going to hear a lot of danceable beats. You know, I, I got, a, I think I got a good ear for for tracks. Okay. Um, but you're going to get some substance. Okay. That's the main thing is that you're going to get some substance out of my music. Great. So we're going to have a meal to deal with. Yeah. So uh, we're going to take a small break right okay. now, and we're going to wrap it up on this last one. All right, so. Definitely, definitely yes. got to put Dallas on the map. Yeah. Um, 
and we have a radio station, I'm on Music Mode, um, and this is just plugging the artists. And anybody that want to get your music, uh, I'm on Music Mode Radio, um, the Mike Music Morning Show, um, I can play it on my show. I'm actually, I'm, I mean, I'm the owner of, of, the, of the station, so if it's good, I'll put it in rotation. Um, my email address is the Mike Music Show at gmail.com. The music is spelled M U S I K. So that's the Mike Music Show at gmail.com. Make sure that it's registered with BMI and ASCAP so you can get your royalties for, for playing because we do pay royalties on Mobile Music Mode as well. Great. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much We got um, a couple of love and hip hop alums that have shows on Mobile Music Mode. Um, the comedian D. Ellis has a show on Mobile Music yes. Mode. Uh, and T Bone, the comedian, uh, uh, has a, a morning show with me yes. uh, called Mike Music Morning Show. So that's on from 6 to 9. Uh -huh. So um, we're, we're located on Live 365. If you go to Live 365, download the yes. app, um, put in Alternative Rap, or you can put in Mo Music by Radio, and that mm -hmm. logo is going to come up. Push it, mm -hmm. and good family music. You can listen to it with your kids. It's going to keep you dancing and singing the whole time. Yeah. But Great in a barbecue. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's basically <laughs> stuff that you can, like, when I was rapping, I've been rapping for a while, okay. and I have kids. Uh -huh. So when you see your kids singing your songs, it kind of yeah. make you think about the songs that you're making. Right. So once my kids start singing the song, I was like, uh oh, well, I need to start making stuff that I'll be I'll be okay with them singing back to me. Okay. That's gonna kind of feed okay. into me. You know what I mean? So that's how I basically came up with this. It started with me trying to do something for my kids. You know what I mean? Okay. So. So as far as looking at it, it's basically makes sense, whatever. Because if I wouldn't do it to my kid, why would I do it to somebody exactly. else's kid? Exactly. Yeah. And, and and music is powerful. There's power in music. Yes. Whatever you feed into your spirit is going to come out of your spirit. Uh -huh. I'm not just like a super spiritual or, or like I don't I don't like to call my music Christian rap. Uh -huh. but I think that boxes it, and I think there's some things that I tackle, some subject matters that I tackle. That the church won't touch, won't touch. Yes. You know what I mean. So uh, it's more so, but what well, it's it's just it's what we go through, and there's yeah. some things that's you know. Because when, when I say soulful, when I say soulful and stuff, whatever, it's just like you know, like sometimes like back back in the day or whatever, it, it wasn't even people that sung or nothing. They just harmonized, and they were just like when they got that, mm -hmm, and people just took to that. You know what I'm saying? And they were just like. I understand that. Without even, you know, saying the word, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? You're letting your pain out. So that's why I was saying, like, it's more soulful. No doubt. You know? no doubt. So, um, as far as working on that, uh, you already mentioned that and stuff, whatever. I was, you know what I'm saying, keep, you know, checking out your beard and stuff, whatever. So I was like, when you go to sleep, do you unhook that? And, you know, because, you know, they got them, them fake beards and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. And I was thinking about like, getting me one. I got to do this for you. <laughs> Tight. Look, look, when I give you one, I'm gonna fall back up here tomorrow. No. And we're gonna be matching. No. Right? <laughs> I get that so you get some thoughts that I get that. Yeah. I actually saw that on Facebook that they're they clip it off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right in the rhythm. Nah, this is this is this one. That's original. Alright, so I man, I show them all that, you know what I'm saying? Cause mine just when I come up tomorrow and I'll be like, hold on, I'm gonna get it right out the bag and show you. Shake it out. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like them girls with things had a uh, microwave ponytails. No. Yeah, just put my way. Nice and low. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, but uh, other than you know, says Malik Ali, you know, saying he didn't plug the office and stuff. If you missed what he said, just look in, you know, the credits when they wrote. We're gonna post it again so you can check it out. Artists, Instagram. if you was looking and won't nobody play your stuff, this is your chance right here. You're not getting radio play. Everybody know you in the hood. Get it out there on the radio. You ain't got to go mainstream. Try another stream. You know, as long as you get your music played, radio, radio. people will hear you. You it's got it. Good. But make sure it's clean, please. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, because we, you know, do have other, you know, younger listeners and stuff. Listening and stuff. So other than that, uh, this has been a great interview. You know what I'm saying? Up here on the top floor, as you can see, because everything is beneath us right now. You know what I'm saying? We up on top, but. We're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for wrapping your swag. And before we even get ready to that, I forgot one thing that I left out. So, Mr. Ali, the question is on the table for you right now. 
How do you rep your swag? Um, well, I, I, I rep my swag by just being myself. By being myself and, and trying to be the best version of myself that I can be at all times. Don't I always have it? Yeah. Don't I, I'm not always successful in that. Yeah, but yeah. That's the goal. But that's who you are. Yeah. The same who you are. And that's how we rep our swag here on our station. And we'll catch you next time. We out. Malik Ali, <laughs> yeah. Motivation music movement, yeah, yeah. I'm about to take y'all to church on this one. Uh -huh. A lot of us have questions about like, life, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh -huh, I like that. Yeah. Right. Hey, what it do? What it do? Facebook. We uh, yeah. we up, we up early, we up early out. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Been to get it done, been to get to it, do how we do. Y'all finna be uh, privileged to some behind the scenes uh, for the for the Mike Music Morning Show, the Mo Music More Radio. Uh, I'm gonna share the link. You know what? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put the link on. Uh, and then uh, once you get the link, just hit that link, man. Check it out. And you're gonna hear us doing that thing. Appreciate you, baby. Co-host T-Bone, in your mouth, in your mouth, man, we live, baby. Yeah, I got that morning for you. I mean, some people say, some ladies say, I don't sound sexy, but I got that morning for you. Okay, yeah. we just hope you ain't got that morning for you. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, so we're going to go on about five after, because I know they're doing commercials and everything right now. Five. So check it, I'm finna go and share the link. And once you see the link, hit that link if you want to hear us live on, the, on, your, uh, on the radio, all right? I give you two seconds, I'll be right back with you. I mean, you now tell me you know this is true. Can God do the things he said he do? Can he take my grayish skies and make them blue? Can he take my old my fame and make it new? That's what he do. Check me out now. Hey, yo, pimpin', what he do? What up? Tell you the truth, I ain't got a clue. Brown folks, we still stuck like glue. Be back in blue by the boys in blue. Ain't no use of us strippin'. Postin' on live for homies, poppin' clips in. We already know the five older biggest gang. They been spinning blood, spinning crips with. Talented to young black and gifted. If the ties are changed, I must have missed it. We all been looking for that good life, but that good life was restricted. we we'll never get y'all to admit it. We ain't this worthless as y'all depicted. My people needed uplifted. Grab a Tom Jones a beat, I started ripping. Malik Gaudi and that OG you, you know I still keep it true I ain't got no time pleasing you, I just do what I sent to do Just in like motivate to you, make music that'll make you move Music straight up out the blue, take your whole mind frame and make it new Got the only one that who protects you when them haters shoot No weapons form or gives me shit prosper, still make you bulletproof The truth is think like a saber tooth, the hating cats can get the boost That the devil's stake and bust a move, and move around with that woo de woo no matter how hard it gets, keep it moving, you can win. I always keep it true to you. It's gonna be you in the very end. Enemies sometimes pose as friends. This one thing you know is true. You might as well be real with God. In the end, it's gonna be him and you. Now, did he prove himself true? Now, did he do the things he said he do? Did you see him take my gray skies and make them blue? He straight up took my oh my fame and made it new. That's what he do. The sun is straight up, gon' come out today Can God really make a way? Yes, he can Can he really hit me when I pray? That's what they say Check me out now Uh, 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 yeah Uh, uh, Got the choir going from side to side like Side to side Then the deacon broke it down, he was like Listen to this song and I hope you have a fabulous day. Deuces.